Hello friends. Today I'm going to emphasize why blindfold based activities are very important in neuro rehabilitation because this helps us to become more aware of our other senses which include movement sense, touch sense, sense of pressure in our joints, taste, smell, even our hearing. And I'm going to introduce a few blindfold based exercises today. Let us start with simple balance. So I'm going to take a tactile cushion today. So we are going to place it on the floor. Stand on the tactile cushion. First balance ourselves properly on it. Initially if required you can take a wall support or a chair support or a table support. And then when you are stable enough Try to close your eyes and feel the texture of the cushion. It's okay if the sway increases. You can open your eyes. Try to stabilize yourself again. The technique to do that is try to keep your feet slightly away. Now how to understand how far to keep them? Keep them hip width apart. So they should come directly below your hips. Again, if you're still not comfortable, you can try to stabilize your hands simultaneously because if your hands are free, you'll be wobbling more. Instead, you can either place them this way so that you have stabilized your elbows or behind. For blindfold activity of the hands, simply try to hold an object in your hand which has good amount of texture. Close your eyes. It's okay if you accidentally dropped it because that is what we are trying to train, getting the sensations in our hand. The trick to how to stabilize it better and use blindfold in a more functional way is try to hold it close to your body first. Open your eyes. Next step is move it slightly away from your body with elbows extended. If you feel this position is comfortable, then you can try to take it away from the midline. And always try to practice first from your stronger side, then your weaker side. Let's move on to a smaller object which again has some texture on it. So with that, try to hold it in your hand. And move it forward and backward first with eyes open so you get a visual feedback followed by blindfold even if you feel the object is slipping from your hand try to increase the force with which you are holding it next we can practice blindfold with force grading so you can click the card here to understand how a disposable cup can be used for the same you can move on to further softer objects like moving on to a playing dough or clay or even use of slime. Another step that you can use with blindfold is stability without using any cushion or any textured mat, which is initially we stood with legs hip apart. Now we are going to stand with feet together and try to stabilize ourselves in blindfold. If you're able to take it to up to 20 seconds, then your balance is getting really good. But it's okay even if you did it for three or five seconds initially. It is important to practice with objects that are soft to touch, which are not likely to cause any injury and practice with them so that you have more awareness of exactly how movements are happening in your hand or how stable you are while standing. Also like the video if you found it informative, subscribe to the channel for more videos related to neuro rehabilitation, ring the bell icon for notifications, add any queries or suggestions in the comments below and we'll meet again soon. Bye.